Hi, I'm Ian Rinyon, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things. And I just wanted to uh, get this uh, recording out because of uh, what really uh, transpired in the past few days, if not hours, because of that article made by Lorenzo, Lorenzo Leviste, who happened to be Senatorial candidate Loren Legarda's son. Leviste is the name of uh, her husband, by the way. So, I'm not here to read the whole thing, but I do understand that based on the uh, theme of that uh, of that piece that he made on Rappler, Lorenzo Leviste was basically disappointed with her with his own mother for discarding the very values that she taught uh, that she taught him so uh, uh, just because of her political uh, perspective or uh, her political um, uh, affiliation now it really is a dilemma how to Take this head on. But you see, mga kababayan, and uh, I would have to uh, make this taglish. My point, eh. It's not that uh, ingrato ang mga magulang, eh, ingrato ang anak sa magulang. But, you see, uh, these uh these campaignings these political um actions that we take in this time of uh, in this um cycle in this cycle of our uh, no, of our political life as filipinos sinisira niya yung ano eh, yung uh, moral fabric natin eh na kaya mong pag kaya mong tiisin na ano na itakwil ang sarili mong ano sarili mong kamag-anak whether you're whether you're the parent or you're the child kaya mo silang itak kaya mo itakwil ang sarili mong pamilya para lang ano para lang uh, sa sa paniniwala mo and it's bad on both accounts for the Leviste family you have Loren Legarda who Uh, we all know is a veteran journalist turned legislator. Uh, she basically uh, did a lot of stuff, but she made the wrong, ch- well, she made the pivotal choice, for the lack of a better term, to uh, align herself or to become a guest candidate of, uh, of Bongbong Marcos. Uh, Bongbong Marcos as uh, Uniteam. And, uh, of course, as, uh, as a son of this, uh, as a son of this, uh, uh, of this, uh, veteran legislator, Lorenzo Leviste was expecting a lot from, uh, from his own mom, from his own, from his own mom. At hindi, at hindi niya nahanap yun. So, here he was talking smack about his mom, about all the bullshit that she, uh, that she replaced, uh, replaced with, all, sh- all the bullshit uh, that uh, replaced the values that uh, was taught to him. And, It it just ano it's just a little bit ano it's just a little bit screwed up na humantong pa sa ganito. Now politics aside and religion side I guess kasi dito na nagkakaroon ng ano ng um uh, ano yun dito na nagkakaroon ng uh ang nagbabanggaan dito na nagbabanggaan ang ano ang 
ikaapat at ikapitong utos. Igalang mo ang iyong ama't ina, or honor thy father and thy mother, at huwag kang magnakaw, thou shalt not steal. You see, both of these commandments have the same weight. They have the same, uh, how do I say this? They have the same, uh, they basically are, uh, have the same weight and importance in all of the commandments, in all of the Ten Commandments. And honestly, this uh, piece that uh, Lorenzo Leviste made uh, when he talked smack about his own mom calls for discernment on how to tackle things like these. Now, as I said earlier, parehong mali. Kasi, uh, as a parent, Lauren Legarda should have known better and should have stood her ground and her perspectives and all of the all of the stuff that she instilled on her children. And as a son, Lorenzo Leviste should have been prudent in uh, correcting or should I say uh, admonishing his own mom na you don't have to uh, you don't have to put your dirty laundry in public or you don't have to clean your dirty laundry in public even though you're public officials personal life is still uh, personal and the public should respect that. But then again, napaka-komplikado na itong, ano, itong issue na to. Kasi it really is, ano, it really is a tragic that we are seeing families falling apart just because of their political uh, perspectives. And not just political per- perspectives, but also moral choices. Also, uh, preferences on what to do in life it seems that the family is falling apart the concept of a family is falling apart and that's sad that's tragic I just hope that come the 10th of May when the du- when the dust of the political scene settles, I only hope that the people who got themselves involved in political uh, bickering and political campaigning would cross the line and shake the hands of their opponents. Dahil sa huli, Pare-pareho lang naman tayo mga Filipino. Tayo-tayo din ang magtutulungan. And no matter what happens, that wouldn't change. The fact that we are all Filipinos wouldn't change. Besides, kung kailangan natin ng pagkakaisa, kailangan din natin na maging radikal ang pag-ibig. There, will only, there would only be unity if there would be a charity that is so radical that Christ himself would, uh, would commend. So... <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm at the loss of words. Right now, I am very much undecided still at this point. But my choices are narrowed down to two. Unfortunately, the uh the candidate who has that uh slogan of unity 
is not part of that um, last two choices that I have. But no matter what happens, I only hope that we would still consider our political opponents as fellow Filipinos. Tayo tayo lang din na magtutulungan. At kung hindi natin to at kung pairalin lang natin ay yung ano natin, yung pride natin na et, etong ano etong choices ko at kailangan ko tong sundin at uh, I I don't really fucking care if it is it is um it is uh opposite or it doesn't ano it doesn't reflect the common good patay tayo diyan anyway i've been talking too much for too long so um i hope you uh i hope you uh understand where i'm coming from at this point Anyway, uh, kaya ako nag-record kasi I just finished uh, editing the part one of my uh, Autism in the Philippines uh, series, wherein I sus- where I told myself or I explained uh, extensively why I suspect myself to be autistic, and you can check that out uh, in the end credits. So uh, it may be there right now in the end credits and with all that said this is Intrepid Ian Rinyon reminding you to at all times now more than ever be the salt of the earth and the light of the world until then look alive stay alive and as always thank you for watching or listening at this point and see you next time Ian out